हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द हुक रेंच और पिन स्पैनर इज यूज्ड टू टर्न शॉर्ट्स एंड कॉलर्स इफ अ मोमेंट ऑफ 18 न्यूटन मीटर इज रिक्वायर्ड टू टर्न दिस 200 एमएम डायमीटर कॉलर अबाउट इट्स सेंटर ओ अंडर द एक्शन ऑफ द अप्लाइड फोर्स पी डिटरमाइन द कांटेक्ट फोर्स आर ऑन द स्मूथ सरफेस एट ए राइट सो वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द फोर्स व्हिच this wrench applies on this uh, collar right at this point a and it is said that engagement of the pin at b may be considered to occur at the periphery of the collar right so first of all we have to find this p force right and uh, we will consider this uh, spanner as a free body diagram right so at a this uh, spanner will apply the force on this collar in this direction right? and that is towards the left right so as a reaction this collar will apply the same force on this spanner in the opposite direction right so and uh, this collar will apply the force in this direction right and let's say that this force is known as r right and similarly this collar will apply some force uh, at this point b in this direction on this spanner right so let's say that this force is f in b right so let me draw the free body diagram right this is the this is our free body diagram and here we have that uh, force p which is acting uh, vertically downward right so here we have that force p so to find this r we have to determine this p value right so this p value can be determined by the moment right so it is said that uh, to uh, 80 newton meter uh, torque is required or moment is required right to move this collar about to rotate this collar about this point o so this means that the moment which is equal to f uh, times d so f will be equal to p right so this since this p is producing that moment so this is p times d and this is equal to 80 newton meter right so the distance of this p from that point o is 375 mm right so we will write that this p will be equal to 80 divided by d right and since this uh, moment is in newton meter so this d need to be in meters as well right so this d equals to 375 mm so if you want to convert this into meter so we have to divide this by 1000 so then when we divide this by 1000 so this will be equal to 0.375 meters right so now we can write that this p will be equal to 80 divided by 0.375 so 80 divided by 0.375 so this is equal to 213.33 newtons right so this p force is equal to 213.33 newtons right now if we consider this as a free body diagram and if we apply the summation of moment about point b equals to 0 right this point is this is that point b and here we have that point a right so now uh, and let's assume that the counter clockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that uh, this r is producing counter clockwise moment about that point b so i will write r and the perpendicular distance of this r from that point b is this distance let me show it to you people right this distance so this is the perpendicular distance of this uh, r from that point b so we can find this right so if if this whole angle is 120 degrees and this is 90 degrees so this angle is 30 degrees right so we can write that this is 30 degrees and the radius is 100 mm right so this distance will be the cos component of 100 mm right so we can write that this will be 100 cos of 30 degrees right and similarly uh, this p is producing the clockwise moment about that point p so we will write minus p and p is now known which is 213.33 and the perpendicular distance of this p from that point b is this 375 plus this distance let me show it to you people plus this distance right so this 375 so i will multiply this with 375 plus this 
So this is the sine component of this radius. So this is 100 sine of 30 degrees. So I will multiply, I will add 100 sine of 30 degrees and this will be equal to 0, right? So from this we can find that R which this spanner will apply on this collar at this point A, right? So this is R and this will be equal to 213 or if we bring this to the other side of the equation so this will be like this and if we divide both side of the equation by this 100 cos of 30 so we will have this equation 100 cos of 30 degrees and if we solve this so the r value comes out to be approximately 1047 uh, newton 1047 newtons so i hope you people would have understood uh, this relatively easy problem kindly like this particular video if you want me to solve such more problems